Listen, but I thought H. What will was Slime the have to say against the God of this world? Yes, IBDW. That's the. Uh... There is a golden representation of IBDW. It's it's in the exact shape of Fox, made out of mm. gold, and it exists in oh. the melee. It exists in the melee verse right now. I can feel it. It's yeah. just like this idol of power. It's like uh oh man. Man, I, I don't I don't even want to like say it because it's so it's like this crazy image. But I'm just thinking about you, you don't even give of, it away. I'll just say it. I'm in the world of Nier Autom and I'm thinking of like when Adam comes out and Adam quickly turns into this like perfect being. And uh it's and just that's like, oh my god. Yes. And Slug and is gonna have to somehow overcome say that. about it crawling out. That's right. That's right. But doing the best he can. That's Surviving. Finals. Surviving. The loser, of course, of winner's finals is going to have another shot. We are moved fully, by the way, as I examine this bracket. We have moved fully into the top eight. With some of the top eight matches already being played out, KJH uh, defeating Gatsu, but getting knocked out in seventh place by Zuppy. And uh, Zuppy going up against Hungrybox for fifth. Dang, Zuppy. We've got Moki and Bobby Big Balls. Moki is up uh, 2-0. And uh, if Moki is able to triumph there, he's going to move on to fight Ginger in loser's quarterfinals. So the players still in the tournament, Moki, Bobby Big Balls, Ginger, H-Box, and Zuppy rounding out our top eight today. Insane. Also, if you're enjoying, be sure to support us and the crew mm. of Genesis by subscribing to the FlyQuest channel. If you've got a free Prime sub, we would be honored to have your support. All donations and subscriptions go straight to our friends at Genesis. That's and right. if you could, uh, you could also help by heading on over to youtube.com slash flyquest and subscribe there for these TMT-related highlights. That's right. That's yeah, right. That's exactly. At FlyQuest anywhere. Like, like anywhere. It's just at FlyQuest. At FlyQuest. Pretty much everywhere. Why that Twitter, is cool is because... Instagram, TikTok they probably, will maybe. continue to... Um, support us as as we support them and it's dope to be here right now it's dope to have yeah. a weekly thank you uh thanks to thanks to FlyQuest, thanks to Kadora and the community of because yeah if you think about how much of this it's kind of a crazy amount percentage yeah. wise we've done some yeah. real labor some real technology work uh as a community nintendo has not helped us with that mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. thanks to FlyQuest, and also they are you know, a part of a very large effort to bring high quality Super Smash Bros. Melee gameplay to all the people of the world who want to watch. You can just go That's to right. Twitch and watch some dope melee from people who dedicate their lives to the craft. Yeah. Which Kadoran... is like an infinitely deep craft. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. You can go and go and go and go. 10,000 hours might not be enough. So are we going right to winter expertise? Finals? I'm worried for Slug, but I guess if he's ready, he's ready. If he's down, he's down. And Slug, uh, he's got his work cut out for him. Not only is IBW the golden god of this landscape, he's also the most recent Training Mode Tuesday's champion. One last week. He's on a hot streak right now. Uh, Some stories write themselves, Tove. Some stories write themselves. Uh, and I know, you know, I know this because uh, I just happened to be tuning into a stream one morning, and he ran into Slug on Unranked. Oh. And they played a set. Okay. And I think Slug looked pretty good, but Abby Double was able to close that one out. And I think with Ices, they are the kind of character where if you've thought about the matchup recently, you're in a much better spot than if you haven't. And I think that IBDW is going to have an element of readiness that I don't know if we got fully from Hungrybox. Really uh, thoughtfully put, Toph. I like Thank that you. analysis. Um, also, would you say that Fox is good versus Ice Climbers? I've uh, heard yeah. that. He's pretty good. The thing about Fox Ices is I think that there's always kind of this, uh, I'm not going to say debate, like it's not like people are heatedly, vehemently discussing it, but I think there's a, I, I think debate's a fair word. Uh, let's just say there's a question of like, what's Ices' worst matchup? I think from a practical level, it's probably Peach. You hear Peach thrown around a lot, but yeah. I think on a theoretical level, on an ideal level, it might be Fox. Granted. Granted, I think the game plan's more difficult. Of course, there's there's more ways that you can mess up. I think the average Ices is happier to fight a Fox than they are a Peach. I think Peach can just feel very miserable sometimes. Uh, but when Fox plays well, uh, it's just bloop, 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 and you got no backup, and pretty soon you're not going to have Chief either. So That's not good. I don't like a matchup summary. Yeah. 
Yeah. Fun so, game, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Fox is so Your Ice Climbers that. versus Fox, here's what's gonna happen. They're gonna go bling bling. Yeah. All your lives. I, uh, this matchup has been, I think, what you know. What the fuck? I don't wanna play it's, that it's, game. It's, it's really. <laughs> I think the thing about Fox's matchup is uh, you can really, there are many playstyles you can use to dismantle the Ice Climbers. You can do, there was, a, you know, Fiction a couple years ago when he was a Fox main, he was doing, he would just shine. Like, you can literally beat this character with just mm -hmm. downer and shine and just shine them off the stage and not really do much of anything else. Right there, that could have been a shine and that's a dead non or, or a dead backup, right? So... Okay, but there you go. That's the frame trap. You gotta be careful. That's an auto cancel back air. If you try to wave dash out of shield, you're gonna get clipped by the down smash. I like the usage of the word frame trap. It's kind of like, yeah, if you choose to do anything. Wow, I wave dash back. Button. Ooh, the handoff. 858, 69, 71. This is a death. Wow. Mm. And why? Um, it's because it's situational, is what you said. That's the logic of why handoff. Yeah, because we mean, the community have said that while you know people, are not, but are we saying handoffs? No. Yeah, I think it's up to ultimately it is up to the community, right? Like it's subjective. It's subjective. No, it is we subjective. have to say that it's cool on principle. Because <laughs> we said well, it's by the rules, so it has to be. So it can't yeah. be whack. Cool and subjective. I mean, cool. Coolness is subjective, ultimately, right? So there you go. Yeah, but we're not them. We're better than them. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, Tov? That's what we'd all like we're, to think. We're, we're not them. No, I, I know that about them. Wait, who's them right now? Them is like, what gave you that expectation that it was subjective? Oh. Uh, like any standard. I mean, yes, aesthetic things are. The out group, the out group, the out group, the out group. Come right. The out group. Well, what is, yeah. what is subjective in and of itself? Anything objective? If there is no objective, everything is subjective. So what does it even mean that something. Right. I think, you know, and, and you know what I think is funny is that I think that objectivity and subjectivity is in and of itself kind of subjective. So I think you're right. So there you go. Now we have a conundrum of who are back. Yeah, and I think it Super goes Smash both Brothers ways. Smash Brothers Melee is the only thing that sense of what's up and what's down. Well, listen, right now in the in the landscape that we kind of compete under, uh, we have decided that even though wobbling, yes, it's kind of situational, you can like the backup and then they can't do it anymore but this is a dead fox because the handoffs are oh my goodness See, how it's, did not, it's interactive that's, that's why we that's think that it's cool there we go yeah we value interactive interactivity oh my goodness i'm actually curious how he even got out i think that was a drop i think it was just a drop okay this is a dead backup but um living whoa i can't buddy. believe they both lived there that was a dbz for the ages i thought they might both die yeah me too <laughs> i was confused to be honest with you fox always is a way back in it waits out the up tilt i see i will say with a very interesting i think they're the only up tilt in the game that like multi hits like that i mean okay sheik has two hits on her up tilt but dang nice bear covering i think multiple tech options on the top platform Back is a huge and powerful move. Dude, sl Slug nope. just, put a, just put a bit of slime on that golden idol. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my just God. Just a bit of slime, slime, but the strength, the inner strength of IBDW is going to shed off. It's going to start burning away. Mm -hmm. That slime's going to start burning away. you got to keep adding. Slime's going to have to add two more about games of slime. In, in yeah. order to just take down one form of because yes. you can go all the way to a final form in this tournament. This is a double elimination. You can't even kill IBDW from this set. It doesn't matter how hard you beat him. Think yeah. about the power that this man must have. Oof. Look at the adaptation coming in IBDW. I'm telling you, the radiant light that comes from his perfection. Yeah. Ooh, already a lot of adaptations. I think it is, man. Oh, how do you? Okay, good spacing. Ah, but see, now it goes to the back throw, but good reactions from Slug. Staying on top of it. Oh, nice DI from Cody. Oh, Nana gets off the ledge a little bit early there. Could you even believe that that Fox grabbed that ledge? I thought maybe Fox was going under and he wouldn't actually be able to grab, but. No, a B is actually so amazing. Yeah, that was actually really dicey. 
Would you say that Fox's up B is a good move? It's so... I think it's a maker breaker. I think that, like, if you can't find a way to space around it, edge guard it, there's some sets that are entirely decided by the fact that the Fox player just keeps getting away with the up B. So you it's, would it's, say up B is a very good move? Very good. Like I would say it's... Good move. I like would say it's good, arguably yeah. centralizing. I think that some sets, in a way that Falco side B, you know, sometimes you just get yeah, you just get spiked by Falco side B, and it's like, well, yes. they just didn't have an answer to that. Totally. So they, they, I think Fox's up B can operate in a similar fashion. Yes. That's so crazy to even say that, given that that like shine is usually the move that you I think of as central, probably yeah. just because it's geographically. You know what I mean? It's probably for some dumb logic that. It, point being, up up B is really good too. Yeah, yes, it is. Like if I could trade Falcons up B for basically Foxes oh up B, I would definitely, I would make that trade. I wouldn't think. I think everyone, about it. yeah, I think every, Fal I think you have to make that. Could trade. you imagine if Falcons got Falcon kick and Foxes up B? That's outrageous. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's arguably too much. That's crazy. Fox that's is crazy arguably thought. too much, Tove. Well, by by itself, yeah, the up B is uh, is Fox ridiculous. Arguably too much. Well, Slug is trying to dismantle oh. this stock right now. If there, if there's no combo drop this here, this is called a handoff. Boom. Tofu taught death. me so much about ice climbers now, and I know that the reason no. why that works is because they're closer to the edge. Therefore, you could predict what way Nana's going to throw. Yeah, that's, that's why right. you could do oh. that handoff. Back up. Nana's dead. Uh, he's going to have to do it alone. And Fox is only at 18%. This back air edge guard might. This might be a rinse and repeat. Oh my God. Whoa! The spacing. The magic pixel. This is a magic pixel. Oh, and the smash you had to get out, but no fast fall. Uh, That's not gonna work. Good. I know that air dodge. I know that air dodge. We've seen it. We've seen that it one all wasn't before. gonna work. But that was a close battle. Yeah, I would say one one. The field is yet wide open. This is a Madawakaranai situation. That means we still don't know yet, kind of? Yes, that's right. Still don't know. Can't be said. It can't, it can't be said right now. It can't be said. It could be said, but it wouldn't be it. Yeah. It would just yeah. be said. You could guess, but you wouldn't know. I think, that's, uh, no I think that's... No one can Descartes. know the future, Toph. Mm -hmm. That's epistemology. That's Descartes. Descartes apparently whack. Probably, but... You know, I, th probably I said, think, like, I think my, the analysis that I currently see the hemisphere hypothesis. I've heard, I've heard Descartes is whack. Yeah, I've heard Descartes. Yeah, is whack. Descartes is whack is where I currently. But the one, I, the the specific thing is that um, when people say, "Oh, I knew that," it's like you didn't really know that. You guessed it. That's right. It didn't. My you kid didn't says know it until all it, the time. It's like I knew that because yeah, he's like, still you, figuring no, out you, you what. Did. Like you just thought. Hey man, I actually really want to make a YouTube video about. Super confusing to be a human because we constantly have this outside world that we're looking at. Like I'm looking at a screen right now, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually super weird in like the technology age. Literally not even talking to any humans in the proximity. You just have to believe that other people through technology. Oh, yeah. But yeah. we yeah. constantly have this real world right in front of us, and we all have an internal world that's also being played on the same movie screen at the same time. And like memories are like things that you experience in the real world, but then they come back. And like, how do you know which is which? I actually think that it's really hard to be a person, make sense of all this stuff. It kind of makes sense that my kid is like, oh yeah, I knew that. You now know that, but your memory of you before, it was in a different state. It was just guessing like you, but you are right now knowing, but you weren't then and you know. It's kind of trippy, Tove. And why is uh, specifically Descartes whack? Like, what was his take? I think therefore I am is just um, and like the doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm prepared to explain why, but through my analysis, it's and just like I you are anyway. It. You are anyway. Like, it's not. I think therefore I am. It's like you think and you are. You are but... first. Yeah, subjective yeah, experience you are first. comes before any thought, and like yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. You kind of are. Like, you don't need a thought to tell you that you are it's kind of yeah. like it's a little bit yeah it's kind of weird but it makes sense from, what he's saying but yeah yeah, yeah. It i only think from makes practical sense purposes as, like, i think from practical purposes it's 
it's a nice thought and I think it's nice. You can ground yourself in a certain way by like, you know, you can, you can try to influence your reality, but it's true. And at the end of the day, low key, is there even, I am, is there even a self? Yes. It's a really good question. Right. And these are the kinds of things that we get to think about when an ICs takes you to FD. Dude, he got, Cody got blown up that game. So there I mean, you go. we just contemplate the nature of, we, we just talk about epistemology. Yes, ICs can. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like when Amar takes Fox to FD, we'll just start thinking about power. I just like, uh, you know, watching Taste of Artosis. They just talk about anything during the build phase. We don't have Me a build too. phase. Me too. Yeah, we yeah. don't. But, you, you know, you could argue that uh, our biggest build phase is these hard counterpick stages. I've never yeah. liked hard counterpick stages, Toad. For that reason, yeah. I know. Yeah, I just don't like it. I don't I don't know. I don't need to gather all together. Right? That, um, I don't know. That Marth beats Fox on FD. Like, we know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't, we don't have to rehearse it so much. I get it. There was somebody, I don't, I think it might have been like Laud. Who was it? There was some Peach player that I think it was back in the day, back when there were like wackier stages. And I think that this might have even been Hugo Hugs. I think there was a tournament where, you know, they got taken to Corneria or something. And they just said, okay, I, res I forfeit this game. Let's go to the next one. It's my counterpick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because they agreed with this. They said, no, you're... We don't need to rehearse it. You win. Right. <laughs> you, 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 you have won your counterpick by picking Corneria against me in Fox Beach or Fox Samus. I think that that makes sense. I feel like I would want to... If you really want to be an a-hole, you would... Um... I mean, it's kind of disarming, right? <laughs> It's like, dang, like, you're not even letting me go through the motions anymore. Well, then uh, then again, it's also... Dang, yeah, that's a that's a, that's a a big move. Yeah. That's a big move. Oh, speaking of big moves, Cody! This is a big move. That was a 90 damage combo. A but you know what? Slug line. dropped an edge guard, and it was that moment that I knew. Yeah, five. we're going to... It's just a game five kind of... It's just a game five kind of vibe right now. Game five yeah. kind of vibe. This is where Manga would say, jab him once, and then run off the stage. Then run off. <laughs> Don't let it be JV, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, maybe Slug fights us out. I mean, okay. Slug at the is end of the used day, to fighting it out. Uh, I mean, this is Slug's it's... whole character arc, if you're asking mm -hmm. me. This is where the story begins, Tove. Mm -hmm. It also may end. Mm. Once, okay, that was not where once the story backup began, is gone, well, hey, it's, I think, with backup there, that's that's the thing about Ices. If you've got both climbers, there's always a way back into the game. There's always a way, especially against a character like Fox, where you can get those infinite chain grabs. Yeah, okay. Once it's just Sopo and you're on your last stock and there's three Fox stocks, no one's going to fault you for taking it to game five. 2-2 <laughs> two, two, and it starts with a grab. 45%. Oh wow, this is a mid-screen handoff. Jeez so, Louise, yeah. Using, just using the up smash to combo into, the, just to re-grab. 93%. Didn't get a kill, but got got Fox pretty much all the way there. Got a lot of damage. Uh, one thing that I didn't know, well, I guess I did know it, I don't know, uh, is that Nana has separate percent, because it could work a different way. It could, if you're super new. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be uh, that like both climbers take the same percent screen, but no, Nana has a different percent, so you mm -hmm. always have to just have it in the back of your mind. Backup mm -hmm. has a different percent. Yeah, and you just gotta remember it. As as the it's something uh, I'm trained player. to do, Tove. I just have to yeah. verbalize it sometimes too. It's both. It, you also have to remember it as the person fighting the ICs. Because if she's at, mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It, say you're, like, like in the as Fox, right? If if you've got the back of mind, like, yeah, she's at up smash kill percent, and you know she's not gonna di because she doesn't di good. Uh, sometimes you just run over there and rip an up smash because, the thing about the the ice climbers, um, is that any input. Chief does, backup will, will, will emulate six frames later. And so if you run up to them, if you just pull up, uh, they're usually not going to be able to react in time to actually get a shield up on backup. Uh, and you can get, you can take some cheeky stocks off of her that way. Mm. Ooh, big whiff punish. Okay, what do you do right there? You've killed, you've killed Chief. Backup is falling gently. Do you kick her or do you run away from her? Because I learned there's... to run away from her. She's scary, dude. Oh, really? She, she scares bad. me now. <laughs> I, I, used to kick, I used to kick her, but yeah. Sometimes, I still I was, it's, what the? 
You're right to run away from her. Are you out of your mind? I'm scared of that fool. I yeah, sometimes she, she does some crazy stuff. She does. Oh, God. What? A, oh, this is a grab. Oh, my God. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. Reaction tech shade. Oh. Oh. That was innovation. Holy Oh! Yeah, I have what not seen heck? a combo like that ever from Ice Climbers. I've seen some dope combos from Ice Climbers. Oh. But a handoff and an up smash and then that little bit. Like weak up air to that get is the a grab. pretty good looking. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, oh my god. no, no the golden god of this world is getting ended right now, Toph. Oh! Is he dead? His first form shatters. Oh. And falls into the loser's bracket to, to rematerialize later. And on Slug's Slug part, is... Slug has fought through Moki, Hungry Box, and now IBW to be in grand finals on the winner side. He has armored himself. He's encased himself with the gold. And now there's a golden slug standing on top of the world. And now with Cody, if he wants to crawl through losers and take down uh, Slug, now he's going to have to fight through two forms. It's going to be two forms of, uh, of Slug. A slug. And you got to realize that Slug already has post-apocalyptic Ice Climbers dystopian landscape as yes. his birthplace. Yeah. So, you know, this winter circle of Training Mode Tuesday is like a walk in the Gotta be. Dang, wow. dude. What an Unreal. epic Training Mode Tuesday. What was he? Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm looking at the... Uh, this, I'm going to try to figure out the seeding right now. First seed. Cody, second seed, Moki. That means Slug was the seventh seed. Holy smokes. The seventh seed, but he's taken down Moki, Hungrybox, and Cody. Three, I mean, I would say what? Three top ten players easily. Boom. Boom. Dang. Boom. The Slugs. Ooh. Thank you, Birasmu, for your subscription. Uh... That money's All going to subs Genesis. and prime subs, not especially, but prime subs are dope. They, yes, they go to support Genesis. So thank you very much. Crazy. <clears throat> the slugs. Oh. <clears throat> you got slugged. You got oh. slugged. You got slugged. Grab Tara with the prime. Grunt bug with the prime. Too many foul. Dang. Thank All of a sudden, the support thank coming you up for very Genesis. Much. Thank you. Yes. We really, really appreciate it. Yes. Um, and, and Genesis appreciates uh, it. Thank you. FlyQuest would definitely appreciate a sub on YouTube. If you're a YouTube watcher and you want some Training Mode Tuesdays content, mm -hmm. go to youtube.com slash FlyQuest and you can get wow. that content. It'll come to you. It'll Maybe there's a you. Tuesday where you can't just... Fish Wonder with the know. Prime. SSBM Snack with the Tier 1. Oh, my God. I certainly oh. appreciate it. I appreciate Sorry. having uh, two and a half Nick. hours to talk with Toph and watch some Melee from East Coast. Uh, yeah. I definitely am about that, so I really appreciate FlyQuest, as well as all of you, the people, mm. as well as just the whole Melee community for continuing to exist, despite... Um, despite being the odds stacked against us. Despite right? it all. It's tough for anything to survive in this world. So, my glass dude, I've, that I was I've had drinking this... from earlier yeah. thought that it was just going to be a normal day where it sits on my desk and I sip from it every now and then it shattered into many, many pieces. I did not know that today would be the last day. Slug top 10. I mean, listen, listen, I think we're going to have to wait till offline. Some offline performances, but I think for Slug and for the opponents of Slug, if you're a Slug, uh, if you're someone who, who runs up against Slug in any of these upcoming brackets, online or offline, I think you're quaking in your boots. Quaking in your boots. Slug number one, that's right. That's the kind of energy I like to see. That's the kind of energy I like to see. Let's, let's take a look at the bracket. Slug sitting in grands. We're waiting now. It's going to be losers, losers for a little bit. Up until losers final grands, we got Hbox Zuppy. Zuppy did get the W over KJH, right? So Hbox Zuppy. After that, looks like Ginger took out Moki. So we've got KJH and Bobby Big Balls. Seventh place finishes. Fifth place, Moki and the loser of Hbox and Zuppy. The winner will be fighting Ginger, and the winner of that will be fighting Cody. Only a few sets left to close out 
this East Coast and very, very stacked training mode Tuesdays. Holy cannoli. All right, my voice is breaking out. Did you know, Tov? Every now and then, but I... You, bet you betrayed I'm me, bro. I'm so good at... What do you mean? I didn't want to call attention to it because it's weird. You got it. You should tell me though. It's tastes and artosis vibe. You got to tell me because like just like I'm telling you now, I want it all to be out in the open, Toph. Mm, all the, okay. I don't want there to be. A, this is true transparency. There's no such thing as a backstage. There's no dirty laundry. They're in I, on it. I honestly think. I honestly think that I didn't. Is it better really? now? I changed automatically. I think, but I thought it was everybody fun the first knows time. Discord has some weird stuff. I changed it to. Um, the mode where it doesn't filter automatically out. determine input sensitivity. They think mm. they're smart, but apparently they're not smart. Yeah, you gotta. I guess you gotta turn that mode mode off. I honestly didn't notice. Uh, I think All I've right. kind of trained myself to read in between. I've gotten good at predicting what you're gonna say anyway. Sort of like you know, I can finish your sentences sometimes. So I, I legitimately couldn't tell. I thought you were fine. So I, I guess I'm just saying that. Uh, uh, well, then that makes me feel better because if you think it's fine, then it is fine. That's how my reality is determined. I think you sound great now. But I thought you sounded great from the beginning, so I don't know. I'm just going to take your word for it. I know what I've been watching has been great. Let me see what chat. Let me see what chat's saying. Sounds fine. He fixed his voice threshold. He's on the Bobby Wavelength. Yes. Am I allowed to be on the Bobby Wavelength? Tasteless Artosis and Scar Tover, the best caster of all time. Thank you. A Croik. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bobby's hair looking amazing. Beautiful hair. No, People's champ. No, no, you're.